Alright guys, good morning and welcome to the Pretty Cool Vlog where we show you things that we think are pretty cool. We're here at Old Dollywood. First time, first day, first thing in the morning. We have no idea what to expect. So, let's go find some stuff. Alright guys, we're walking down the old main strip here and the first thing I notice is there's these weird pumpkin people. Look at there. There's some pumpkin people right there. But, uh, I mean, it is fall. It is the Harvest Festival. It's the Dollywood Harvest Festival. So you will see a lot of these pumpkin people around doing their pumpkin things, just hanging out. Hey, look at this pumpkin tree. That's pretty neat. I almost thought it was real pumpkins all up in there, but it's only partially real. Uh, those are real down there, though. Look at these Christmas things. That looks fun. Wow. So they got some, you can get these customized, it looks like. Oh. This is part of the Harvest Festival, I think. There's gonna be artisans out with their crafts and goods. Holy moly, look up. These guys are crazy. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a clue where we're going. But man, check out all these pumpkin things. It's really cool, it's a giant cornucopia with a giant pumpkin inside. I think we're gonna to go to the uh, Market Square? Yeah, I think we're just gonna go. Nope, we're gonna to go to Lightning Rod, which is uh, apparently this way. Lightning rod. It's supposed to be pretty intense. Oof, we're gonna get this out of the way. It's supposed to be intense. We're not really used to intense. Oh, holy moly. Do you hear that? Oh god. Oh my god. Holy moly. No. So we just got a full lightning rod there. This it's pretty intense. That's an intense mountain coaster. It is super fast. It's one of those hybrid wood coasters, so it has like extreme turns and extreme speeds. Yeah, but it was uh, it's pretty cool. And right there, so you, you can see. <laughs> I was terrified. Oh. Hey, one of the cool things about this uh, little town we're in, it's got all kinds of cool cars. Oh, where they have lightning rod. It's like a little, like a little old 50s town. Hey guys, check it out. We found a barrel of fun here. I don't know what it's all about, but I'm, I'm in for fun. It takes 25 cents. Put our feet on this thing down here. We've got a quarter. I guess we'll put that in here. Oh, this is a barrel of fun! Woo! This is amazing! Woo! Oh, it's weird! It's so weird! How long does this last? Oh, feels weird. Feels really weird. Man, we have no idea where we're at. But it's pretty neat out through here. Look at that little water tower. Oh, dang. Look at that bear. There's a bear. He's going to take your pictures. No, no cameras or cell phones in there, though. So we'll walk away so we don't get in trouble by that, that bear. Check this thing out. This is a the old Tennessee water tree. See here, it was discovered by Davy Crockett in the old 1800s. This tree can emit the prodigious amount of 100,000 gallons of water daily when fully grown. Bahuki Indians were said to have performed ceremonial bathing under its branches once a year. Huh. How about that? So if you're curious on how to make the old sorghum syrup, take this here. You take your your cane, right? Your sugar cane over here, like that. Put it in this contraption over here. Uh-oh. Well, it was getting pulled in there by this giant horse. But uh, we had to stop, because we made a little mess on the ground there. I'm not gonna really zoom in there, but the old caretaker there, he's gonna, he's gonna take care of that. You see, they ain't just messing around up in here. I'm doing real work. Real work is what it takes. Hard work and a big smile. 
And right over here, check this out. We've got a pretty cool looking, pretty old school looking uh, carousel. Old school and cool. Oh, look at that dragon right there. Holy moly, I did not realize that was on here. Oh, look, there's a reindeer and a bunny, right? Oh, there's a zebra. There's the bunny. Oh, look, here we go. Look at this. Look at that hair. Holy moly. That's some good hair. All right, we are in the count, count, no, country fair section here. It looks like a bunch of kids' rides. Ooh, that looks kind of thrilling, even for a kids' ride. But, but anyways, they have these like carnival-style games over here, also along with these uh, kids' rides that actually look pretty, pretty cool. Ooh, what the heck is this here? So it seems to be some sort of little area here where they uh, have a shrine for pickles, a tomato, and potatoes. Don't really know what's going on here. Ooh, I remember this ride from fairs of yesteryear. That's the old scrambler. That's what we used to call that thing. I don't know what it's called here. But... Oh yeah, that's a little too much spinning for old James here. Ay ay ay. Man, one thing that's really neat about this place is all the beautiful trees. And you got all this cool, like, you see where the light just flickers through the leaves there? That's pretty neat. It's one of those things I like to, I like to look at. Pretty cool. Trees are always nice to look at, but there's also cool stories around here. Looky here. You got Alexander Shot and John Knott. Knott was shot and shot was not. In this case, it's better be shot than not. Yeah. Here lies John Knott. Not shot. I don't think they went quite. That's a shallow grave. I think that's what they call a shallow grave there. Interesting. <sighs> All right. Well, look, this Miss Lillian's barbecue corner. It smells good. It does smell good. <laughs> but Jessica also just noticed something way over here that's caught her eye. Yeah, this is about to happen. Our first taste of this famous cinnamon bread, hot, fresh cinnamon bread made daily. All right, let's go in. You ready? Yes. You ready? Very. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. And just like that, we are inside the old grist mill. Oh, look at there. Come upstairs, more hot and fresh treats. That's pretty neat looking, though. They got the whole grist mill. I think we're, yeah, we're gonna go upstairs. Here's where you clean the flour. Here's where they do all the stuff. How about that? This is, is this a real grist mill? I think it might be. Well, they got all kinds of butters and stuff. Like any self-respecting country store should have. Butters and syrups and jellies and jams. Here's what we came for. That's what we came for right there. And I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Wow. That actually looks really good. Cinnamon bread was pretty all right. Thanks, grist mill. That's good stuff. It did live up to all the hype. Hype? The hype? Hype, hype. Up, hype, hype, high up. Well, I think we're gonna ride this thing now. Oh boy. Just got off that old barnstormer. It was, it's actually pretty intense. A little more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Like after we got off, it felt a little weird. You know, like maybe, um, Dizzy, kind of. It's really moving back there. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it was a fun ride. It was fun. Are we getting old or something? You're getting what? Old? old? Yeah. So. Is that what it is? It is really fun. It didn't spin, so that's good. If it did spin, I probably wouldn't have done it. Let's go see what else we can find around here. Man, this place is neat. It really is like a little old town. 
Just like a little old town here, out in the mountains. We're gonna go into this store here. Ooh, look at that vicious tiger. That's not a tiger, it's a panther. Come on, James. Look at these carvings, look at that cute little otter. Look at that guy. Oh, skunk. I don't know if I wanna go on that side of that thing. We'll hurry past that thing, ooh. Wow, it's pretty neat stuff. Those shelves are neat. That's $7,000 up there. I'll take two. Guys, we stepped into a candle shop here. Candle store, candle shop. Look up here, you can actually dip your own candles if you'd like. This is how we level the bottoms of all of our candles. You'll notice these molds sitting here. Everything we pour is poured upside down. Now we're gonna dip this into our clear. This will seal off all the cuts that I've made on it. Just right in and right back out. Now it will turn kind of milky looking or kind of dingy looking. That'll clear up in about 10, 15 minutes. See our little drips here on the top, on the bottom? This also warms it up enough to where if I've got little places that maybe I want them to touch and they're not quite touching, I can go back and make them touch. I kind of well, that was neat. We're back outside here, though. Just came out of the old Whole Flames Candles shop. I think we're going to head up this way. I don't know what to yet, but we're gonna go. Oh man, right over here is Eagle Mountain. Eagle Mountain. This is uh, like a habitat where they have American Eagles. Ooh, there's a couple right up there. Oh, way back there. Don't know if you can see them or not. Jumped in a little bit. No, I don't know if you can see those two guys. But they're like right there and right there. And we got another little habitat area right over here. We got this little guy. He's not little, he's actually huge. Whoa, he's gonna do a thing. Nope. No, oh, okay. That was crazy cool though. I've never seen an eagle do anything other than stand there. So that's, that was pretty neat. We just rode another ride, Blazing Fury. That's pretty all right. It was like a classic dark ride. A lot of um, animatronics and uh, air blasts and what do you call it? Like black light stuff. You know, it was, it was kind of rough. So yeah, definitely cool, classic, wow going on above us here. I think this is part of the Luminites thing, so we'll definitely have to come back here another time and see what it's like at nighttime. We're walking along looking at all these lights hanging from the trees up top. Almost missed this thing. Look at that. Look at that tree. It's all twisted up and there's a there's a, like a, a, a wagon on top of it. How in the world something like that happened? Tennessee tornado. Right, that old Tennessee tornado twist that thing up. Let's maybe ride that. That's probably fun. All right, the Tennessee tornado is temporarily down, but right across the way is the old Fire Chaser Express. Oh, look at that. It's got kind of some twisties over there. A little bit of twisties back there, but wow. Oh, and there's some more of it. Oh, this thing does look fun. Wow, look, there it goes. Whoa, lots of sound happening. Huh. Oh boy, there's the eagle. Eagle's flight. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but that thing looks pretty neat going up there. Huh. All right, so we're, we're actually not gonna ride the old Blazing Fury because you can see up here, one of the cars is stopped. Got stuck up there, people had to evacuate. So instead, we rode the Eagle, which was, uh, that was kind of intense too. That was a pretty intense ride. Let's show you a little bit of that. That was pretty intense. Almost as intense as this giant pumpkin pile tree thing. Look at that dude on top. Yeah. 
That's a big pile of pumpkins. Whew. got the old, this is the old mystery mine. I am not sure about this. I do not know if I can handle this. It looks pretty intense. It looked like the theming looks amazing. It looks really, really cool. But I don't know if my stomach can take this part right here. I think this is the part right there, right where those people are going, that slow little upside down thing. I just don't know. Don't know if I can do it. I want to. All right, James, you got this. You can do it. You can do it. All right, so we just rode that old mystery mine. and I made it. I survived. But it was tough. That thing beats you up a little bit. But I'm glad I rode it because it was... Um, it was really cool. Man, I am... Oh, every time I see it, I, I feel it a little bit. I feel a little bit, but... Like I said, I'm glad I did it. Time to relax now. Yeah, so I think we're done with rides for today. James is done. What? James is done with rides. Walking through a little section. This is probably like part of the like luminites. Luminites, yeah. A lot of neat little setups. I'm sure that the uh, the lights will be really cool on these things at night. Oh, looky there! It is a. What is that? Is that a hidden Mickey? It's a hidden Mickey. Yeah. Oh, look at that tree. It's a tree made of trees. Kind of worked up an appetite though, so I think we're gonna find somewhere to eat. And uh, that might be it for the day, for us today here. In any case, this has been pretty cool. All right, so we were gonna eat at Old Aunt Granny's, but every line for every eating establishment here is pretty long. So two o'clock is, is eating time here. But I think that means that we're gonna head out here for the day. We're gonna go ahead and close this thing out. This has been a really fun time. They got some extreme rides, some nice strolls, some beautiful scenery, and uh, I, I really like it. I really like this place, it's, it's actually really cool. Oh yeah, you can hear the old train off in the distance. But well, we appreciate you guys coming along. Hope you enjoyed it, because uh, we sure did. Well, we'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>